I hope you're all well. Today I thought that I would share three cleaning methods that I have been loving using recently. You guys know, well if you've been watching my videos for a while then you'll know I love to clean and organise and minimise and declutter and I just love kind of just trying to make my home nice and clean and tidy and organised and decluttered. But I found in the last few weeks Jasper started school full time, Jensen's upped his nursery hours, I've had quite a lot of work on and I feel like I've needed to kind of up my game when it comes to cleaning and organising and stuff. Before I would just kind of clean whatever, whenever because I had more time whereas now I don't know, I'm just finding the need to be more organised. So I'm going to share with you three methods and hopefully they help you if you're feeling a little bit like overwhelmed with your cleaning and organising and tidying. So if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below, let me know if you've got any other methods because I would love to try some more and yeah, let's go. So cleaning method number one is the organised mum method. Now I've been following this account on Instagram for a little while now, she has like grown to epic proportions the last few weeks. So with her method, you have three levels. Level one is your daily cleaning. So things that you have to do every day to keep your house kind of maintained to the standard that you would like. So things like making your beds, putting the laundry load on, doing the dishes, cleaning up after meals, cleaning the main living area floors. So things like the living room, the kitchen, I get crumbs on my kitchen throughout the day and bathroom. So just like putting a bit of bleach in your toilet, giving it a scrub, cleaning up the sink, that kind of thing. So that's level one. And then level two are daily specific cleaning kind of focuses. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday you have a specific area of your home that you clean. So in the method, Monday is your living area, Tuesdays your bedrooms, Wednesdays your entrance hall and stairs. I don't know why I did that then. Um, and Thursday is your kitchen. So once a week on a specific day, you'll spend 30 minutes cleaning those areas. Obviously you can change it up. You could do bedrooms on a Thursday. You could do kitchen on a Monday. It's completely up to you. But this is the way that the organized mum has done it for I think 12 years, she said. And then Friday is Focus Friday, which takes you to level three. The so Focus Fridays are for the areas of your house that don't need to be cleaned daily or weekly, but maybe like once or twice a month. So the way that the organized mum does it is she does it on an eight week rotation. So she has eight different areas and she rotates them each Friday. So for example, kids bedroom, master bedroom, um, like living area, like miscellaneous room, hallway, kitchen, garden and outside space. So when your focus Friday is on your kitchen, you would do things like your oven, maybe your microwave, your dishwasher, maybe descaling the kettle, jobs like that that you don't need to or particularly want to do weekly. And then for bedrooms, it could be things like going through your drawers, clearing out, decluttering, minimizing anything that's maybe too small for your kids, makeup that you don't wear anymore, toys that they don't play with anymore, giving the drawers a bit of a wipe down, the wardrobe a hoover, you know, like hoovering underneath the bed, more deep cleaning tasks. And that's it. So three levels. Level one is your daily things that you do every day. Level two is your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Level three is the Focus Friday, so the real deep cleaning things. So I'll leave a link below to the Organised Mum blog and Instagram page so you can find out more for yourself because it's a really, really great manageable way of doing it. So on to number two, and that is a clockwise clean. Now, if you've been swept up with the whole Mrs. Hinch cleaning, then you will have probably heard of this, and it's just a really good way of cleaning a room. I've not really been into the Hinch hauls and stuff like that, purely because I like to use more natural products. I have tried a few things that she suggested, if I've had like a stain in the carpet that I've not been able to get out with natural products, um, and I love watching her stories, but this clockwise clean, that's like the greatest gift that I got from her. The clockwise clean is basically, you go into a room you take all of the cleaning products with you that you're going to need to clean that room and you work your way from the left as you first go into the room around the room clockwise cleaning each station as if they're a hand of the clock so for example when you first go in the room on my left one o'clock is my chest of drawers two o'clock is my windowsill three o'clock is the corner with the mirror four o'clock is my bedside table five o'clock will be my bed six o'clock will be the other bedside table seven o'clock would be the other window eight o'clock would be the corner by the wardrobe nine o'clock would be the wardrobe ten o'clock would be next to the wardrobe eleven o'clock would be the kind of chimney breast area and then 12 o'clock would be back where I started at the door. 
and you literally just clean each area one by one. And I think the best thing about this method is that if you have to stop halfway to go and see to your kids or go and answer the phone or something like that, when you come back, you know that the whole room up until one point is all done. So it's kind of easier to know where to pick up from. And something else that I wanted to add to that, but that's not only to go from left to right in a room, but also to go from top to bottom. So for me, I would always dust up high and I would work my way down because the way that I see it is that dust will fall down to the floor. So from like the top of the curtains, onto the windowsill, onto maybe the radiator, onto the floor, and then it can all be hoovered up at the end. So left to right, top to bottom. Okay, number three is task cleaning. This isn't inspired by any like Instagram account or blog or anything like that. It's just something that I like to do when say the house has gotten on top of me and I kind of want like the whole house cleaned in one. I know a lot of people would rather spend four hours on a Friday afternoon getting the whole house clean and then not having to do anything apart from like little daily things for the rest of the week until the next Friday. So this is just quite a nice manageable way of doing it. Rather than focusing room by room, focus on task by task. So for example, go through and dust your whole house, then go through and wipe down all of the sides in your house, and then clean all of the fabrics in your house, and then clean all of your mirrors, and then do all of your windows, and then hoover all the carpets, mop all of the floors. So then again, you know that if you do have to stop halfway, at least I've dusted the whole house or at least I've hoovered the whole house. Like you know that one whole job is done. It does mean a lot more running around, but that's good because it counts as exercise. <laughs> So that's it, those are my top three cleaning methods. I hope that you give them a try if you haven't already. And like I said, please do comment below and let me know if you've got any more for me to try. Let me know if you try these ones and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.